welcome back to the vlogs. It is a very chilly winter morning. Moose is currently eating his food, so sorry if that's loud. Um, just got some coffee changed. I still need to do my skincare and stuff like that, but I have some like things I need to do around the house. I need to do laundry and I need to do the dishes. The dishes have been piling up so bad. I feel like I've been working so much that I haven't really been focusing on cleaning the house. So we're gonna be doing a big cleaning day. I also have work stuff I have to get done too, but I really need to tackle these dishes. They're really bad. Some packages I'm gonna unbox. So yeah, that is what we're up to today. Um, I'm probably gonna make myself another coffee because I already finished mine. And yeah, let's get the day started. Moose has been sick the past couple of days, so today is the first day he's really had an appetite. So we're so happy he's feeling better, huh? <laughs> feeling better? Good boy. Yeah, he was like projectile vomiting <laughs> everywhere in our bed, on our couch. So I'm just glad he's feeling better. Also, I think a package might be here. So you're probably going to start barking soon, huh? currently balancing on like our espresso machine hopefully it does not topple over but um this is a couple of things that i got in um nordstrom rack i'm actually going to be working with them um and i'm going to be filming an ad today but i got to pick out some things that i love and i'm so excited to share them so i got this really cozy uh blanket it reminds me a lot of the barefoot dreams blanket like it literally feels identical but it's um, I'm pretty sure this is actually Nordstrom Rack brand, so just like the Barefoot Dreams inspired one. Uh, then I also got this cozy pullover. I mean, how cute is this quarter zip? It's like super oversized. It's basically like a white teddy bear. So cute and it has like I feel like this would be so nice for like morning walks um, just because it's like extra cold out now so this will be so nice to have because it's gonna be so cold also Moose just heard me say that word so now he's gonna get all excited I'm sorry um, next I got this um, this is a reed diffuser from nest and Basically, I got to pick out stuff that I love that I think would make great gifts for the holidays. So this is definitely some, let's get this too. There we are. Um, the Nest Reed diffusers are so luxurious, but still affordable. Um, and it makes the scents last super long. And if something like candles like affects you, um, like the smoke from like the wick, kind of like affects you. I feel like a reed diffuser is always a great option. It looks so classy. Classy when it's on like some coffee table books, you know, type situation. So love that. I feel like a pajama set is always really nice too. So I just picked up a little set. This lastly, can't go wrong for a gift idea, fuzzy socks. I always want fuzzy socks. And wearing fuzzy socks during the winter time so this is always a, a really easy affordable option if you need like a stocking stuffer 
or um, like a white elephant. I feel like a lot of like, I would say like the pajamas, the socks, the reed diffuser, even the blanket would be good for like a white elephant or like someone who you're not really sure, you know, like their style or their preferences. Um, so yeah, I feel like a lot of this is like kind of just easy ideas. Um, but this one like specifically, I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this. It's so cute. Anyways, I need to bring this all upstairs. I do need to get ready. It's one o'clock. Um, I've been cleaning like crazy. Um, doing so much stuff around the house. I vacuumed the entire house. I've done two loads of laundry. I've been doing so much stuff. I need to film and submit this same day, like really quickly. So. Lighting, yay, nay. So making some chicken. We're gonna just bake some chicken to make it easy and I can't decide what I wanna actually have for dinner. Like if I wanna do um, at home quesadillas, which are really good with the um, almond flour tortillas that I get. Or if I wanna do like a chicken bowl, kind of like some veggies, some avocado, cheese. I can't decide what I wanna do. So I'm just gonna bake it and Connor's at the gym. So I think we're just gonna figure out after <laughs> I make it and see what I'm craving. These are the three seasonings that I use. I wish this, oh, actually it's a little bit lighter here. So I use the adobo seasoning, the buttery steakhouse seasoning. This is insane. It's so good. Um, I used to get one that was like a little bit different, but this is really nice. And no, you don't need to use it on just steak. <laughs> and then the cayenne pepper. I use this on everything. I do love spicy, not like super over spicy, but I'm trying to get this to like, okay. Um, not super over spicy, but still, you know, got a kick. Open this up. I've definitely become um, a little bit more knowledgeable in like baking and cooking and stuff like that. Like I've just become more comfortable. I used to never be comfortable cooking or baking or anything now i feel like i'm like 15 percent out of 100 like i've just never been like huge into cooking and i wish i was like my mom wasn't either and i feel like that's something that like parents really influence their kids a lot with um because two of my girlfriends are such amazing cooks and they like whip up these like insane dishes like all the time just so effortlessly they don't even need to look at like an ingredients list honestly and I think they owe it to like their parents or grandparents so you know my grandma and you know she's she's a good cook but like that was never something like when I was growing up that it was like let's cook together you know like it was just not something like that so i'm kind of just trying to learn everything on my own um as i've just grown up i guess gotten older i do want to become and that's something that i want to like have for my kids just to be well versed in that space because i know that when you have kids you're always having to think of different meals you know um meal ideas and I want to be feeding my kids like good food with nutrients and you know stuff like that like I just want to make sure everything not only tastes good but it's like healthy too so I feel like the lighting here is a little bit better um it's just like we have really wonky lighting in our kitchen honestly kind of our whole house so um hopefully it's a little bit better so um anyways back to what I was saying like I just want to make sure like I'm well versed in it because I do want to be able to like you know teach my kids that too someday um and so they'll feel comfortable like I know when I went off to college I had no idea what I was doing I was like scared to make chicken like I literally when I tell you I didn't know how to do hardly anything so um yeah oh that was a lot of seasoning so while I let the chicken cook, 
just gonna hang out with Moose on the couch, um, probably answer some emails. It's 5.30 now, it's already pitch black out. I'm gonna wrap up some last minute stuff. I had some um, filming and ads that I was doing earlier, so that's why I'm ready. I'm also so excited to be back on YouTube because I feel like this is the perfect place to share a lot of what I've been reading lately. I have been reading some of the most insane books. Like, it's taking over my life in the best way possible. I'm so happy um, for anyone who's like a big reader, <clears throat> especially in like romantic -y kind of um, genre. I've been reading the From Blood and Ash series and I think I'm on book four and it's like a regular series. I think it's called Flesh and Fire. There's From Blood and Ash and then Flesh and Fire. I think it's like two separate series and or I know it's two separate series so I just can't remember the exact names. Um, but basically it's like one regular series and then it's like the prequel series and it follows like two completely different time periods um oh my god it's so good it's 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 so freaking good <laughs> like i what am i reading right now um i have it on my phone i have a full list because there's like an order that you can do like not a tandem read but um you can read them in specific orders for like okay so the first two books you read are in the um from blood and ash series and then you switch to the prequel series and you switch back so you go back and forth so i have the list and do like a full just like either a dedicated book video which if you want that well this like lighting is so bright um so if that's something you'd want i can do just like a dedicated book video or i can just include it in um one of the vlogs that i post but okay i'm on Okay, I'm on um, the fifth book. So the first book is from Blood and Ash. The second book is A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. The third book is The Crown of Gilded Bones. I mean, those were life changing. So good. Like I never thought that I would find a series that rivaled um, uh, Throne of Glass. I almost said Game of Thrones. <laughs> Throne of Glass for me. I mean, that was like God tier six stars so amazing and i loved akatar too i'd say that's like my gateway series um that will just like always be like a roman empire for me i feel like also my camera is not fully um focused but then so those are the blood and ash books those first three and then you switch to a shadow in the ember <laughs> a shadow in the ember which is the first flesh and fire book and there's something about like switching out of like what you're in the zone in that I just get so um, hooked on specific characters and story storylines that I like don't want to, you know, switch things up or I don't want to see another point of view or whatever. I love this book so much. Dare I say I liked it more than the Blood and Ash book, which do I really know? They're just so different. But, um, so I finished all four of those and now I'm currently on the War of Two Queens, which I'm on like chapter 12 or something again. So you kind of go back and forth and what I love about this is that there's so many books and there's going to be a new release, um, in February, on February 20th. And then there's also going to be a release on May 7th and then there's going to be two more releases, um, untitled releases coming up this year i think this summer so there's so much to look forward to gosh like it's just amazing but i can do like a full review breakdown i have a fable account i was really good at posting on it and posting all of my uh reviews and like keeping up with it like my current reads and stuff like that and then um i was doing my november reads or was it my October reads? Oh, my October reads. And I was posting on TikTok too about some of my like reading lists. I had to DNF a book and then I also like stopped reading one of the books 
like a few chapters in because I wanted to switch. So I feel like I was like switching up a lot of the books I was doing. So I wasn't keeping up with, um, let me see, keeping up with um, my Fable account. But basically it's like a Goodreads, but like 10 million times better. It's so aesthetically pleasing. It's like almost like a social app I would say and I like will refresh it and see like what other people are reading um so yeah I love it so follow me on fable I feel like I'm really just enjoying these books um they're they're just amazing I keep texting my sister I'm like read these books now they will change your life um so yeah anyways I'm gonna do some work on the couch with Moosey and then going to um the chicken's literally going to be done here any minute so i'll probably make an early dinner because i've hardly eaten today because i've just been doing stuff non-stop like go 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 so that's what we're up to hey, hi moosey you're on the heating pad you love the heating pad don't you mm-hmm <laughs> We are doing a date night tonight, so we are going to one of our favorite dinner spots. It's called Vita. It's very close to us, so um, it's just like really convenient for us to go. I have been working nonstop pretty much all afternoon and evening. Um, I was like planning most of the morning and just kind of like prepping, and then I had a lot of filming, um, editing, and submitting content this afternoon and evening. So it is currently 5.40 pitch black outside crazy like the sun sets literally at like 5 15. it <laughs> my seasonal depression is going to be kicking in very shortly this past fall was just so good the leaves were on for so long but still like so colorful um the weather was just amazing and then obviously going into december we really weren't having like crazy cold days until like thanksgiving um, which obviously by by the time this is up like Thanksgiving was only like a week ago still on a bit of a high from just like how gorgeous our autumn season was this year and then um, I'm just like really looking forward to Christmas Thanksgiving isn't like really a holiday that like I really look forward to um, and it's funny because Christmas never really was either like Halloween was always my favorite holiday like I've always liked Christmas like who didn't like getting presents growing up um but like I feel like as like an adult I wasn't like super excited about Christmas until like the past couple of years this year I'm really excited for Christmas um the entire house is like completely decorated so like I'm just like very excited Connor and I were like considering well I was considering like us not doing presents but like doing like an experience or something like that but I think we are gonna do like a couple of presents I've got my massive makeup bag it's literally filled to the brim like this thing is exploding and i just went through all my makeup all my beauty products all my skincare products two weekends ago and i need to do it again so i have like four or five giant bags of stuff that i'm going to be giving to um my little sister my mom my grandma i get like so much stuff in pr either it's like things that I have so many of already <laughs> that I like don't need like five extras or stuff that's not my color or like I get a thing of 20 lip products and I'm only going to use two of them so if like any of my family members want to or even friends too um can find a color that they like then I'm gonna let them have some um I'm gonna just go in with my Fenty Beauty just to like kind of warm everything back up i literally have been filming for so long and you know when your makeup is on for so long that's just like kind of getting a little crusty 
So I feel like I just kind of need to top everything off. I really like my makeup. I didn't even use a primer, which I usually use. By the way, this bronzer is insane. This is the Caramel Cutie from Fenty Beauty. I love Fenty Beauty's products so much. Just had a tiny bit of product left from my Huda Beauty setting powder and pound cake. So I'll usually use that just to like kind of mattify everything again. I have this Revolution Beauty lip liner. It's like actually a plumping lip liner. It's a little bit like of a pinkier nude. Really pretty. The pout liner from Revolution Beauty. It's called Doll Cool Nude. Of the Fenty Beauty Traced Out liner in peanut butter. And this is like a really pretty, more of like a brown color. Topped off with my lip injection maximum plump. Oop, this one. This is, I think, no shade. Extra strength instant long term lip plumper. I think this is just like the original. And also, I actually have two different mascaras on, which I don't know if you can really tell in this lighting, but I have on these. This is not sponsored. I actually filmed an ad with them earlier, but I'm working with them because I love the product so much. But the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascaras from Maybelline, gorgeous. Make your eyelashes so long. By the time you're seeing this, it may be up on my Instagram and my TikTok. So, um, the Cosmic Black and then the True Brown. I have True Brown on this eye, Cosmic Black on this eye. I don't think you can really tell here in this light. I think I can see it more like in person. Um, and I'm just going to go out to dinner with two different mascaras on. But the True Brown is really pretty for like... If you don't want to wear a black mascara, I think that there are some people who look so good with brown mascara and it just really complements their eye color, skin texture, or er, skin color, I mean, um, and everything. So especially people with like really blue eyes, I feel like look really pretty with brown eyeliner or um, brown mascaras. I'm just going to do the little pinky color. It's got a little bit of a shimmer too, so... That'll be a mixture of my blush and highlight. Also, all this glow that's like going on here is fake and is the uh, Lumi Glotion True Match. So freaking good. This is the Medium Glow. I love this stuff. I will put this on my neck all right here and it just like makes your collarbones pop, makes your shoulders pop, especially in a off the shoulder top. So yeah anyway so that is the glam oh we're gonna go in with my setting spray this stuff this is the best setting spray i've ever used i'm gonna go get dressed and do some work on my phone and then we're gonna head to dinner